the original mother leopard started the famous legacy of leopards that we have at Londolozi today. Myself and Elman and Plongo were fortunate to be following a leopard one day and she just stopped for a brief moment, three minutes, four minutes, and she looked back and I was looking through binoculars and it was a defining moment for me because when I saw the first relaxed leopard that I'd ever seen in my life, I knew at that time that I would make films and try to learn more about this magnificent cat. Now, the way we used to operate is we would go out and sometimes the tracking jobs would last for a few hours. We would sometimes find her having started at six in the morning, we'd find her at 11 o'clock. As soon as we found her, we would then go back to our vehicle, pick up the vehicle, and then we would approach her in the vehicle. And over a long period of time, she started to accept the vehicle and allowed that vehicle to get closer and closer to her. And it was only then that I was able to take photos and, and make films. But it was a brilliant time in my life because I got to understand for the first time the social system of the leopard. And I was able to observe a brilliant tracker plying his trade, tracking in difficult circumstances, tracking her every day. And then it all came together as she got habituated and we saw her first litter of cubs and then her second. She eventually had 19 cubs in her lifetime. And I was also very fortunate that she lived a long time, 17 years, the original mother leopard. And of course, her cubs became habituated. They got used to the vehicles. And so this leopard viewing that we have today, this fantastic leopard viewing, probably the best in the world, um, is still with us today. And we've been able to record eight generations of leopards from the original mother. That is absolutely phenomenal.